Coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between Travis Hoppa Brown and top-level submission fighter Fabricio Verdum. Fabricio Verdun, a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and a brown belt in Judo. He is a three-time world Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu champion at the black belt level and a two-time world champion in Abu Dhabi. Now training under the professor, Rafael Cordero, his Muay Thai is some of the most dangerous in the UFC heavyweight division. Fabricio Verdum is now one of the elite of the elite in the UFC's heavyweight division. Although he started out his career as a grappler, his striking has grown to a level where he is absolutely devastating on the feet, and on the ground, he is amongst the best ever. The proud Hawaiian, Travis Hoppa Brown, one of the true contenders in the UFC's heavyweight division. He is trained at the Glendale Fight Club under the guidance of Edmund Tarverdian. Travis Brown has a long reach and vicious kicks and will be looking for a big finish tonight. Travis Hoppa Brown may be the most agile fighter in the UFC's heavyweight division and proved in his victory over Alistair Overeem that he may have the best heart as well. Travis Brown enters the octagon, and he's ready to fight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Verdum is five years his elder. Brown weighed in at 255 pounds. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. And with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, playing out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 20 wins, five losses, and one draw. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 239 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Fabricio! And now there's his opponent, fighting at the record. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 18 wins, 3 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 6 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 255 pounds. Fighting out of San Diego, California, USA, Travis Hoppe And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee. Ready to fight? Ready. Here we go. Fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. White trunks for Verdun. Black trunks for Brown. Joe, when you speak of Fabricio Verdun, the first thing that comes to mind, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Yeah, one of the very best Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioners to ever enter into mixed martial arts. Fabrizio Verdun fans in the crowd tonight. Good punch by Brown. To the body. Shots to the midsection. These guys are going at it here right away, trading blows. Back up. Nice job avoiding the leg kick. Good left hand count. Trying to shoot. Oh, he lands the roundhouse to the body. Brutal knee to the body. Those are nasty knees. Oh, what an exchange. Oh, big shot. Nasty leg kick. Brown checks that kick. Excellent head movement. 
Joe, nice knee to the body by Brown. He connects with the straight. Joe, that was a brutal knee to the body. Really threw everything into that uppercut, but fell short. inside leg kick. Big takedown. Nice sweep. Now he's in the car. He establishes back control. Fifteen seconds now. The mount again. Round with an elbow to the head. Round one in the books. All right, let's take a look at some of the action here. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Take control of it now. Take control of it. Move forward. Right. When he sets on you, take him down. And then just keep mixing it up. Brittany gets us set for round number two. Ready to fight? Ready. Round two. Joe, that last round was brutal. Travis Brown's leg kicks were lethal. Nasty leg kicks in that round. Excellent technique, beautiful timing. Travis Brown is a long, tall heavyweight with excellent footwork and some serious knockout power. Good block, and he counters with a nice right hook. Man, Joe, he's connecting with those punches. Verdun with a nice hook to the body. Wow, check out this stat. Leg kicks landed. Verdun with a good left hook. He lands a clean combination. Wow. Big shots! Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt. He's also a black belt in Muay Thai. And he scores a single leg takedown. Look at this. He's out of it. Full guard. Back up. He misses with the straight right. Look at that. He's timing that jab. A lot of time left. Verdun with a lead left. Hard leg kick from Fabricio Verdun. Man, we have seen so many lethal body shots. It makes you wonder how he is still in this fight. Great jab by Verdun. Good combination. Big swing. Nice inside leg kick. Very nice. Good defense and a left hook count. And he's throwing more. Good exchange. And another strike lands. Under a minute in the round. Good kick to the leg of his opponent. Brown gets the single leg. He does have full guard here, which is still dangerous. Lands a good shot from the bottom. Man, he's got the reversal. 
15 seconds left in the round. Wow, look at that. How good is that? Uh -oh. Round two in the books. Let's take a look at some of the action from this round. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. There's Ariani as we get ready for round three. Ready to fight. Ready. Five Ready. minutes left. Joe, we're coming off a pretty good round. It'd be great to see more of the same as the fight continues. Decent action in that last round, and yes, I would like to see more of the same in this next. He defends the head strike with a strong parry. Missed that shot. Scores with the leg kick. Oh, good connection by both. He men. lands a very nice combination. Oh, big kick. so much. Oh, he tagged him with that straight. That eye is going to be grotesque. Oh, beautiful kick to the body. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, big this hit. could be it right here. Solid shot to the body. Oh, powerful kicks. Greg Jackson in his corner telling him to stay busy, Joe. And another takedown. Joe, he's really dominated this fight with his wrestling skills. Now he's in full guard. For two, going for a submission. He's looking for the tr transitions to the armbar. Rolls him over on his back. This armbar is very tight. He got it. Oh, it's That's over. It. it is over. Fabrizio over two, winner by submission. Excellent technique here. Got the arm bar and got the tap. Let's check out the action on our fight replay. And one more time from this angle, we can see that arm bar locked in tight for the tap. And one more time, nice technique here on this submission. And with the official decision, once again, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 56 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by tap out. Fabrizio Verdun earns the win by submission.